Welcome back. According to labor statistics, computer science jobs are plentiful and well paid and can offer career flexibility and chances to work from home. So the question, why do so few women choose to study computer science? I am going to build the Iron Man suit. Georgia Tech sophomore Nick Selby gave freshmen an epic welcome at the beginning of the school year that went viral and stirred up a lot of excitement about math and science. If you want to change the world, you're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. A more profound excitement has been steadily growing towards STEM studies. That's because tech is king. Entry-level salaries range from $80,000 to $100,000. And by 2020, there will be 1.4 million open jobs in fields related to computing. But at current U.S. graduation rates for computer science degrees, two-thirds will go unfilled by Americans. Thank you, Mr. A House Chairman. committee discussed the issue during a summer hearing. The efforts uh, we are making on K-12 through education are going to prepare people better for the uh, post-high school education. A liberal arts college will prepare people better to engage in and succeed in STEM fields. Elementary STEM schools focused on science, technology, engineering, and math are popping up around the country. Educators hope parents will guide students, especially their daughters, to pursue classes that many typically avoid. I think that more girls should really like science, technology, and engineering and math because it's really, it's very interesting. Fewer girls are growing up to pursue careers in these fields and the numbers continue to slide. In 1990 and 91, 29% of all undergraduate computer and information science bachelor's degrees went to women, according to U.S. Department of Labor. Now, only 18% do. Kirk Love is an associate professor at Utah Valley University. He's been studying gender issues. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning, Dave. Glad to be here. When we think of computer geeks, we think of guys in dark room glasses, driving around in vans, hooking up my computer uh, or my TV or all that stuff. How do, how do you offset that stigma to where women go, you know what, I want in that field? The, the actual uh, number, even in men, if you look at the number of geeks, there aren't very many. You know, it's popularized by TV sure. and the movies. Uh, I'm not sure the words would even uh, exist if it wasn't for a few programs. But in general, uh, computer scientists are artists, writers, uh, normal people, and they enjoy getting out in society. So in your study, why is it that, uh, that women are staying away from what you believe is a very green and productive area to go into? Some of it is more uh, local in our society and our local beliefs. Uh, if you get into other areas of the country, there are schools that have up to 50% women, and around the world there are areas where they have a lot of women coming into computer science. Uh, here, for some reason, uh, it's very low, some of the lowest in the country. Now, in uh, the dot-com bust, both right. men and women left the industry. But then the boys came back and the girls haven't come back. So we're trying to bring them back in. What impact has it had on the industry by mostly having the boys back? Computers are pervasive. They're in everything. Uh, even the word computer is evaporating. Uh, we, we say sometimes computer programmers run the world. Now, do you want this real small subset of personalities running the world? No, we don't. We need a much broader group of people involved in the creation of these intelligent devices. And, and what in your study shows, what can women bring to the field to make oh, it better? Oh, they're the great communicators. They like to work with people. When I teach uh, all-male classes in human-computer interaction, it's like pulling teeth. You know, we need people that want to work with people and that have that other perspective. Half of our population is female. Right. We should have that view reflected in what we're doing. Two Texas students want to be on the vanguard in making the digital universe more welcoming to women. Here's a video that they helped produce. Hi, my name is Roya. And I'm Jeanette. And we are Young, Young Women, women in, in Technology. We come from El Paso, a place where the need for future engineers and technological leaders is essential. In a society where women are stereotyped, we found it challenging to reach our aspirations in technology. As a young girl, I never thought that I would be where I am right now, but through the support of my family, teachers, and NCWIT, I was able to reach my goals and continue to pursue an education in technology. 
Did you know that in the next decade, the national demand for scientists and engineers is expected to increase four times that of all other occupations? Every day, less and less high school women are pursuing degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math. And if nothing is done, the United States will be looking at a critical technology workforce shortage by 2012. In order to solve this problem, we as women must continue to empower one another to reach our dreams and aspirations. Ways that this can be accomplished are by mentoring younger girls in STEM and being their role models. As women in technology, it is our responsibility to be great representatives of females in the STEM field and prove common stereotypes wrong. All right, Professor Love, help me out here. I have a 17-year-old daughter ready to graduate from high school. What can I do to steer her into computers? And I'm not alone. Well, first of all, I hope she has a computer. Yeah. It is common in households for the males to dominate the machine and the girls walk away. So they get gender attachment male to computers very early in our society. So one way to do it, especially as our daughters are younger, is to get them on the computer at the house. Yes, and have a sense of ownership and attachment. And then uh, all of your colleges and universities sponsor uh, like at Expanding Your Horizons Day and, and other activities where women are brought up, young women, from junior high to high school on campus and they're given present presentations on this and mm -hmm. they get to meet female mentors. They're very good programs, they need to be involved. And if I could say one other thing, they, you need to group the girls, get them into organizations where they're involved with the machines. And then there's good money to be made. Yes, very good jobs for men and women. And they're very flexible jobs. Uh, frankly, women need the jobs. You look at uh, single mothers raising mm -hmm. kids. Wouldn't it be nice to be making $50 an hour at your home? Be nice anytime, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Professor, thank you very much. Thank you. And you can read more about this particular issue in Celia Baker's article, Code Secrets The Real Reasons Why Girls Need to Become Computer Geeks. DeseretNews.com. Father John Jenkins leads one of the country's top universities, Notre Dame. When we return, I'll sit down with him and discuss faith, football, and the influence both can have on education. <laughs>